people do feel thirsty, but you have to get significantly dehydrated before the thirst mechanism kicks in. So when you get really thirsty, you're, you're normally more than 3% dehydrated. And what I mean by that is that if you weighed 100 kilograms in weight, and you then normally, and then you, your weight was then 97 kilograms, you've lost 3% of your body weight. And that's, if that's all come from water, that's 3% dehydrated. And by that time, your thirst mechanism will kick in and you'll feel probably start to feel thirsty. But prior to that, you don't feel thirsty. In fact, thirst is a very poor mechanism. It doesn't, it doesn't kick in very, very, very aggressively until you, get, um, until you get more substantially dehydrated. And the reason for that is that we're really well adapted to go without fluids for, you know, for a, a reasonable period of time. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. That adaptation allows you to go and work in the fields for three or four hours without having to stop and have a drink you know, every hour, every hour and a half or something like that. So that, there, there are real adaptive, adaptive advantages to that. But if you want to function optimally, or you know, you, I mean really optimally, so you want to function at a high level, so athletes for example, or even at work, if you're really doing complex things, doing, you know, you're on the computer, you're working really hard, you want your concentration to really be optimal, which is quite different from digging potatoes in the, in the field, then actually you, you want to be well hydrated for all of those times because that your hydration will improve your concentration. The problem is you don't get thirsty. So it's really useful to drink by habit rather than drinking uh, just when you get thirsty. Most people, when they are thirsty, one of the common feelings they feel before they get thirsty is they actually feel hungry. So when you're next hungry, one of the things it's worth doing is drinking a pint of water and seeing how hungry you are afterwards, because our body often gets confused with those messages, and so people tend to eat sometimes when they're actually, rather than actually being hungry, they're really thirsty. So if you, when, when you feel hungry, if you drink first, and then re-evaluate just how hungry you are, you might find that stops you from overeating as well.